Hi, Victoria here from Sleek. Hi, I'm Flick from Sleek as well. Uh, we've just finished a few workouts in the studio and uh, we thought we'd bring you a few little tips to help with some of the things that you find difficult in classes. Um, lots of people bring up rotation in the hip socket. There aren't many other workouts that you work in turnout, but classical ballet, we always think of rotation from the tops of the hips to really engage the glutes so the toes turn outwards. A great way to get this when your legs are moving if you stand in first position, Flick shows us beautifully because you've got gorgeous feet, and extend your leg to the front. If you lift the leg up, we're always thinking about rotation this way, so the heel is facing me. What we don't want is to see the top part of the foot. So a very old school one that my dance teacher always used to say to me is, think of serving a cup of tea on your heel. So if you can balance it there like that, in that beautiful turned out position, that is what we're aiming for ultimately. The minute you start to rotate into that hip socket and lose the action in these glutes, of course, you lose the cup of tea. So, there we go, that's what we're looking for. Rotation in the hips, whether you're extending to the front, to the side, or even to the back. Always rotate into the hips, always glutes engaged. Test with your fingers, they should always be fired up. Yes, yeah, a good one. Yep, that's the one for today. Um, we'll see you soon, we've got lots of new coming to you in January, so stick with us and uh, we'll speak soon. See you soon, guys, bye.